What's up, y'all? How's it going, everybody? Today is May 15th, uh, 2019. I'm gonna do some fertilizing today. I'm gonna, this is a quick video on uh, how to fertilize your palm trees. So, um, now I don't fertilize mine in the winter, and uh, I don't think most people do. Uh, if you're in anywhere above central Florida, you can fertilize all season long. Um, I mean, it won't, it definitely won't hurt to give them fertilizer in the winter. They just kind of sit there. They just slow down growing. You just don't want them to be too excited. But, uh, this is going to be a little informative video. It's how I fertilize them. And, uh, I don't know. This is a slow release fertilizer. You get this from your Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. So this is a palm fertilizer. It is designed, formulated for palms. This actually works good with grass. Works good with almost every plant, really. It's slow release, low, low nitrogen. Uh, well, it's low everything really, but it's uh, slow release, but it is immediate release. Uh, if you want to use a palm fertilizer for container growing or uh, or on your palms in the ground, it, some of the better fertilizer is uh, time release. So you can put it in a, uh, you know, you can just throw it on literally whatever you want, as much as you want, and you can't mess it up because the little balls are coated in plastic uh, and they will basically just break down over time. So it will time it out. Um, so this stuff here you can see, this is not time release. This is just immediate release. But for me here, because I'm in Southern Ontario, I want it to be immediate release um, because of the fact that I'm only fertilizing through uh, six months of the year. So because the rest of the time the palms are basically sitting dormant. So I'm gonna do it now again in the middle of summer uh, and I'll probably, that might be it for this year. I might try to get in three. I'm gonna do it now in the spring and I might try to go again. I can go every six weeks, so I might do it again in uh, June and then again uh, one final time at, at the end of July or beginning of August, probably the beginning of August. So uh, anyways, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'm gonna try to do it with, uh, this is what I'm using today. I mean, you can use other stuff, anything that's, it's gotta be really slow release. I recommend you use a palm fertilizer because they are specially balanced for palm trees on the micro and macro nutrients and stuff. So we can turn this over here, read the back. I always recommend you read the back. What I'm doing is I am doing exactly what they say here for my trees that are in the ground. So for palms, landscape trees, you can use this on other trees as well. It's designed for palms, but you're gonna basically take the width of the trunk at three feet up and divide this number by two and that will give you your amount of cups. Uh, slash eight ounces because eight ounce cup so you're gonna and apply it immediately you apply it to the surface around three foot around the area so and broadcast it so let's go over here i'm just gonna do this palm i'm gonna do all of mine but i'm just gonna do this one on the video so basically take a tape measure like this like one of like uh this is one for like fabric or something so it's it's pretty good to use so basically you come around at about three feet up this is probably four feet but anyway around so we're gonna take this I'll show you what I think. And we got to 25 inches, almost 24 inches. So we're gonna say it's two foot around uh, the entire diameter. They're not talking about the radius. So the diameter of that, of this palm, which is a uh, windmill palm, Trekkicarpus fortunae, the diameter is two foot uh, trunk. So that being the case, we're gonna divide that by two. So one, so we need one cup. Um, so I got a, measuring cup in here. Now, what you want to do is just broadcast it. This is a quarter cup, so I got to put four of these on. Just broadcast it like this. Try to do it three to four feet away from the base. So I'm going to do two at the front here and two at the back. So you can get some of it close to the trunk. Now this stuff here is also really good for the grass. I don't recommend you do it the other way around though. Do not use lawn fertilizer because palms need their food given to them very slowly. So I, I don't recommend, um, I have no experience with it, but I've heard that it's not ideal to use palm fertilizer or to use grass fertilizer on palm trees because of the way they grow. I definitely know that they like their nutrients slow and I've used this stuff and I will notice, like if you have a palm, like these aren't yellowing or anything, but if you have a palm that's yellowing or uh, lagging or whatever, this will give it a, a result pretty quickly. So um, I recommend this anyways. Um, you could try 
I mean, I try, I use an organic lawn fertilizer anyways, and it slow release as well, so it might not hurt them, but most, or, uh, most lawn fertilizers are uh, like really high in nitrogen and their immediate release, like at least the nitrons, nitrogen's immediate release. So it will, uh, it, I don't know what it will do. I've always heard not good things. It might burn them, it might, uh, the tree might not like it. It might be okay, but uh, that's what I use anyways. Uh, you can, uh, if, I'm sure you could probably order this online if you can't get it or whatever uh, in your area, but uh, this is good and I'm sure there's most, if you're growing palms, there's probably them in your area. I, of course, I'm not growing them and nobody grows palms in this area, so I have to get this from Florida, but uh, no big deal. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. So that's how it'll look afterwards. You know, you got it sprinkled in here and uh, if you want to water that in, it's actually supposed to rain later on today, so I'm not going to and I'm just going to actually mow the lawn because it's getting a little long here. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Later.